What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Copart walk around over here at 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Come out here and get you some cars. Get you some cars, all right? We're back at it again. Beautiful day here in Oklahoma City. Absolutely beautiful. The sun is out. It's like 79 degrees. So much better. We're using the new GoPro Hero 9 Black in 5K, okay? Yeah, so I hope this footage is looking good for you another investment into the channel man i'm always looking for i'm always looking for new tech that can help improve the quality of the video or the audio all the time so we're gonna get started with are you ready for this one? Oh no didn't we end on a bmw in the last video we did we ended with a bmw and we're starting this with a bmw that also doesn't run how convenient right a, a european car that doesn't run hey what do you know Monkey Wrench Mike, I keep telling you, man, stay away from these cars. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is, I believe it's an 04 325XI. So it's a it's a baby beamer. It's a baby beamer. Not a baby boomer, a baby, a baby beamer. Baby boomer, baby. Ba try saying that. I dare you right now, because I can't even say it once. Say that five times fast. Baby boomer, baby boomer, baby beamer. Yeah. 04 325XI, very light blue, 168,000 miles on the odometer. It actually looks to be in pretty good shape. I don't, I don't know what could be wrong with it. We are going to definitely have to try to crank this one over, though. It is the all-wheel drive, that XI, man. That XI, X-Drive, all-wheel drive. I can already tell you I see some issues, okay? Number one issue I see is it looks like this wheel, and this could be just from the way it's sitting, too, but this wheel is kind of cocked out. The paint is peeling. The clear coat, I should say, is peeling in a lot of places. What concerns me the most is what I see sitting in the back seat. Um, I did not see this in the pictures. I'm not saying that they weren't in the pictures, but I personally did not see these in the pictures. I may have just missed it. But we have the top cover to the engine. We have part of the intake, the uh, air intake. We even have the cabin air filter. So, yeah. Uh, this one has no bids on it. Oh, it's a smoker's car. Yeah, definitely a smoker's car. You can smell the smoke. I mean, you don't need to see an ashtray. You can smell the smoke. Let's, uh, let's pop the hood. Let's see what they've done under here. Someone obviously started doing something, and then they just gave up on it. Why? Could it be coils? Possibly. Doesn't make a lot of sense, though, because they already got the cover off, and they there's a big piece right here you have to take off as well. So obviously they took all of this off, anticipating doing something that I would guess was under here. And for whatever reason, they gave up. So, huh, interesting. We'll check the oil on this one. Let's get an idea. Oh, she's got oil and the oil looks good. It's got good looking oil. Hmm. So something happened under here and we're not gonna know anything else about it until we put a, put a jump pack on it. So let's put a boost on this thing and let's see what she does. All right, we got the big boy, the NoCo GB150 hooked up to it. The only thing left to do is put the key in the ignition and see what she does. It's not even that hot in here. Boy, the interior is actually in really good shape. A lot of beamers, man, the interior just, just seem to fall apart. Ooh. Uh, no, sir. You guys know what that sound is? That's compression. Nah, uh-uh. Well, that's a wrap for this one. That's a wrap for this one. Pop the trunk, see if we got any parts under there, or back there, I should say. Yeah, I know that sound all too well. I'm not gonna waste my booster pack cranking it anymore. She ain't gonna run. Man, what a shame. She looks so good, too. She really does. It's a nice looking battery. Golly. I remember how much those batteries are. They're very expensive for this car. Well, hey, now I, now I understand why this car has no bids on it. Um, definitely cranks as if it's got no compression. So there's a, there's a very good possibility this car may have overheated. Let's take a look, see if it's got coolant. I'm gonna bet it doesn't. If it does, ooh, that's not coming off very easy. No, she's got coolant. She does, and the oil wasn't milky. Somebody's had this apart. 
I'm not sure why, but uh, whatever's going on under there, guys, it definitely sounds like a serious lack of compression. So we're going to skip this car, move on to the next one. Next on my list, something you don't really see anymore, guys. A 2002, do you even know what this is? I'll give you a second to think about it. No? You give up? It's a Mercury Cougar. Can you believe it? They tried to do this before. They took the Cougar from a big, full-size rear-wheel drive car, and they converted it to a tiny, compact, front-wheel drive V6. Okay? They did this before when they were going to kill off the Ford Mustang, and they tried to turn it into the Ford Probe. All right? It was a front-wheel drive, four-cylinder. Occasionally, you could get them paired with a six-cylinder as well. Well, they did it to the Cougar. It didn't work very well, and guess what? The Cougar died. Now, I don't think the Cougar was ever resurrected after this body style. This is something I would love to see Ford Motor Company bring back to life. Not this. Not this. Bring back the Cougar. All right? Dodge has got the Challenger, the Charger. Let's bring back the big rear-wheel drive Cougar Coupe and Thunderbird. That's, I think that would be great. But, you know, we can all dream, right? So anyway, walking around it, it's got dings pretty much everywhere. Affinity tires on the front that have seen better days. The front bumper is falling apart. A big scrape down the side. Affinity tire on the back that actually looks to be in pretty good shape over there. What a strange looking car. I have owned two of these. Hideaway Pizza. That is great pizza right there. Free advertising, guys. Uh, another Affinity tire back here. At least it got matching tires. The back tires look good. Cracked light right there. A big scrape down the side. This may have actually been a grandma's car, guys. It's got enough dings, dents, bumps, and bruises. Uh, this could have very well been a grandma car. She's got some miles on her, though. 151,000 miles. And I think the bid's only at $150. Oh. Ooh, okay. I think somebody literally sharded in the seat. Like, I'm not even playing. I'm not even joking. I think somebody le literally was regularly cutting them loose right there. It does not smell good. It is very dirty. But I think... I think it's savable, guys. I do. You just don't see these anymore. Well, there's a reason. They weren't they weren't notorious for being reliable cars either, but but this one is actually in pretty dang good shape. Oh, look at that Cougar logo right there. Man, okay, I'm getting excited. I shouldn't do that. There's no reason to be excited about this car. None. It's got a blue mirror. That's interesting. It's listed as a run and drive. It's got a Tinker Air Force Base sticker on the hood, so it used to belong to military at some point. Let's get this hood prop up here, and uh, let's see what it do. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the Duratec. Uh, yeah. All right, let's start with checking the oil. The oil is actually very clean, very clean oil, and it's full. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> I truthfully wasn't expecting that. Look at this oil cap. Holy crap, look at that oil cap, guys. Very clean. Inside the engine looks very clean as well. This looks like somebody may have actually cared for this car. Maybe, possibly. Check the coolant. She's got coolant. Yes, she does. Orange coolant, so we're good there. Huh. Now the front bumper's in pretty rough shape. I'm gonna bet that the paint is probably pretty bad too, but all things that can be taken care of with Mako. It's got a lot of spider webs under the hood. Trans fluid looks decent. It's not great, which is good. I actually prefer transmission fluid that is not bright pink. I, bright pink transmission fluid on used cars terrifies me. Now I understand somebody could have taken really good care of it and that's a great thing but generally it has been my own personal experience i'm not talking about your experience i'm talking about my experience used cars bright pink transmission fluid usually means there's a problem so let's turn the ignition on and let's see what it does i'm actually really interested in this one guys i i don't know why but this is something you just don't see on youtube Ooh, look 
It, and it already left its mark on me. And I bet I didn't bring any rag. Oh, she's dead. Okay, she's dead. Let's put a jump pack on it. And uh, let's bring this old girl to life. Okay, we got the trusty booster pack hooked up again. It is dinging. That's good news. All right, the gauges appear to be working. It's out of gas. Let's see if I hear the fuel pump. I do, I hear the fuel pump. She's gonna, she's gonna try to start. Let's prime the pump a little bit. Cycle the key. Oh, come on, you're listed as a run and drive. Yeah, the gas gauge is under empty, guys. Huh. I do hear the pump, though. I wonder if it literally ran out of gas right here, sitting here. Yeah, it's got nothing. Okay. Dang it, man. Uh, I'm really interested in this one. This is one of those, it's listed as a run and drive, but obviously it's not running. And obviously it was sitting a long time. Look at the amount of buildup under here, guys. This thing was parked somewhere for a very, very long time. There's a container of 10W40 oil, uh, some Amazon batteries. Hey, there you go. If you need some batteries, buy this car and you can have some. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of spider webs. It's really dirty. It looks like this thing has just been sitting for a very long time. So uh, let's take a whiff, see what this smells like here. Oh no, mm -mm. no, whatever's in there don't smell good. That does not smell good at all. Dang it. Well, guys, we may bid on it, see what it goes for. Looks like it definitely is gonna need a front bumper, probably a paint job, probably at least fuel. I got a feeling there's something else wrong with this car, but drop your comment down below if you'd like to see this on the channel and we'll see what happens come auction day. Next, we got the bike barn. Everybody's been asking me where the motorcycles went. Motorcycles, ATVs, trailers, RVs. Well, whew, sorry guys, I'm out of breath, golly. This is a walk over here. Here you go, feast your eyes on some of these. This right here, you guys know, I don't know anything about bikes, but this one right here catches my eye. It's that, that rear end, man, that, that diamond light right there. Yeah, this one right here, that's it. Don't get me wrong, this one's nice too. This big old cruiser's nice as well. That, I feel like that's just a little too big for me. Now, maybe if I was driving to the Pacific North, Northwest, uh, that would be great. Probably gets pretty good gas mileage. Now, this is my style right here. Right here, this is what I need. It's like a moped type thing, man. <laughs> a super, it's called a super scooter. I wonder if it's hard tuned. <laughs> An MP. 150B, yes sir. Got a BMW, very nice, very nice. 650, reasonable size BMW bike there. That's probably something I could get on and learn how to ride. Yeah, 650 may be a little big since I'm a beginner. Oh my God. They got so many Harley Davidsons out here. I mean, this yard is just packed full of beautiful Harleys. Got more bikes here. Hey, I don't know what this is, but this is pretty cool looking. Look, kind of got that old school look to it. It's a Honda. Okay, I kind, I kind of, I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. This one, ouch. Another big old cruiser, man. I told you, Harley's everywhere, guys. Harley's everywhere. We got an Indian right here. Look at that. Tell me that thing is not beautiful. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? What the hell is this? 
Oh my god. A 63 Othi? Othe? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what that is. We got a Honda. Hey, plenty of bikes to feast your eyes on, guys. There's a couple more outside I'll show you, and then we get to the uh, to the ATVs that are sitting out there. Let's see if they got anything anything good out there today. Let's see a dirt bike, man. Be some fun right there. Oh, oh, spiders. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, guys, can't do it. I was trying to get a closer look at the Suzuki over there, but uh, not not going through the spiders, man. I ran into a spider web and that was it. Another gorgeous Harley right here. And this right here, I love this. It's kind of got that cruiser bike, but it still looks pretty mean and aggressive. You know what I mean? Definitely looks like it's a cruiser. You could cruise comfortably on it, but it still looks kind of, it looks kind of tough, man. It looks kind of tough. Looks like they hit something. The front fender is all bent up. The light is missing. The wheels actually got a big bend in it right there. So, hey, hopefully whoever was on it was okay. Uh, the rest of the bike actually looks to be in pretty good shape. All right, I think that wraps it up for the bike barn. Let's take a walk outside. Not to worry, ladies and gentlemen, I actually have a couple more motorcycles to show you that I think, I think one of them for sure you're gonna get a real kick out of. Look at this, look at this. Okay, this is what I'm talking about right here. I don't know what I would ever do with this, but I could find something to do with it out in the country. You know what I mean? This thing is wild right here. Look at them tires. Yeah, someone comment below, tell me, what are these tires for? Is that for sand? Or is that for like mud bogging? Or, or what is that? On demand, all wheel drive, 850 high output. This thing's a beast. Golly. Yeah, it says right here, under 16, not happening, man. Not happening, that thing is cool. We got a, we got a CV out here. One of these days, I keep telling myself, one of these days I'm gonna buy a couple of these so we can go out to the water and you know have some fun. Unfortunately, it looks like this one looks like this one had a little, a little too much fun up in the front end and uh, took it out. Hey, you got a little one right here. This is cute. Yeah, this is cute. It's something I, I'm guessing you put your kids in this because this is awful small. Awful small. So I'm assuming you put your, your kids in that one. I couldn't see fitting in that very comfortably. A ranger. All right, this is what you need on the farm. You know what I mean? If you've got a farm or a ranch, Hey, this is what you need right here. Carry all your stuff around, your equipment. You don't have to be in your truck or whatever. This right here, I, I, we're going to pass that. I don't, I don't even know what to tell you on that one. Extra wheels. Extra wheels. Another Polaris. Another Polaris. <laughs> you, you see what's going on here? Everything out here is a damn Polaris, man. Another Ranger. Another Ranger. A 19. Actually, a lot of these guys, there's so many of these out here that actually look good. Not these. Not these. Here's a big old 1,000, another burnt. I, I see a lot of burnt ones out here. It concerns me, it really does. Oh, a deer, a deer. What happened, oh deer, what happened to you? What happened to you? I don't know, man, the whole damn front end is missing on it. I guarantee you though, it probably still runs, you can still use it. And I think that's the deal with a lot of these. A lot of these, even though they're smashed up, dinged up, been rolled over, whatever, they're still usable, but well, well Okay, this one right here, I don't know about that. That that looked like a bad day. Yeah, this whole thing right here looks like a bad day. But what do we got over here? A Patriot. A Patriot. Golly, that thing that thing has definitely seen some better days. Another another Polaris over here. And we got one more, another Ranger sitting over here, guys. Last last one of the ATVs here. Another XP 700 twin with electronic fuel injection. Well, I guess this is an old one. It's an 08. So I guess in 08, they were probably still using carburetors a lot of the time. Looks like it might have some custom wheels on it. Looks pretty nice. It's got a little... Oh, there's bullets. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, beer. <laughs> Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Looks like someone was listening to some music. They had their portable speaker. They're having some beers. And they may have been out shooting out in the country. Uh, you, you know, be very careful. These things sitting out in the hot sun too, guys. Come on, guys. If you're gonna send your if you're gonna send your ATV to auction, please remove the bullets. At least remove the bullets. Okay, I got something else to show you guys. Let's go check it out. Can somebody please tell me how a lawnmower ends up at Co Park? Uh, I <laughs> I was not aware you could insure your lawnmowers 
it doesn't look like this thing was in an accident i might actually bid on this guys i'm actually gonna take down the lot number i might bid on this i would really like to have myself a zero turn and you know what i'm betting happened you know i have insurance on all of my property as well so chances are this thing was probably stolen and it looks like it's brand new guys the deck doesn't look like it was ever used there is some dings around this rear, rear tire here this rear wheel has some dings all over it but the deck itself i don't see any signs of grass i i don't see anything that makes me think this bad boy was okay it's not a bad boy it's a kubota but i don't see any signs that this thing was ever even used it does have some scuffs and scratches you know what maybe it fell off the damn trailer that's what might have happened because it's got scratches like hardcore scuffs oh this is dented that's all yeah that's all damaged the deck is actually cracked right there the deck is cracked that's going to cause a problem yeah i think this thing fell off i do i think it maybe was on somebody's truck and it fell off like it's got rocks and stuff stuck in the wheels here that are damaged as well okay maybe we won't get this one yeah I think someone bought this brand new and it literally fell off of the trailer. That's the only thing I can think of, guys. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about, man. We got some other cool bikes right here, okay? We got this bad boy right here, another Harley. Got a massively dented gas tank. Oh, hold on. I about passed this one up. Now, this Harley right here. We're not even to the best ones yet, guys. God dang, man. I, <laughs> right here, this kind of stuff makes me want to get one like bad super super bad it's just this right here is forgive me sexy it, it, it's I, I don't i don't know what it is but i love it i love it i really do uh we got more not to worry we got more if you're not intrigued yet all right we got something else for you because we got this beautiful bike sitting over here that i'm just dying to show you guys we're walking up on it right now they also got a forklift if anybody needs a forklift, I mean, I actually thought about buying it. I could use a forklift. This right here. This right here, guys. Take that beauty in for a moment. Belt driven. Texas choppers. Ceramic coated headers. Look, this, there is nothing about this bike that is not, I don't even have a word. I don't even have a word. Hey, cool is such an understatement for this bike man look at this i feel i feel privileged literally to even just touch the thing you know what i mean it is absolutely beautiful sns 111 i mean this is just open headers right here guy like literally just boom open headers right out the side here nice nice tight ceramic coating over them and look at the artwork the artwork is just I, I it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful i hope this camera is capable of doing it justice i really do i mean 5k ought to be able to give you some really really good detail on this thing can you tell i love it i absolutely love it guys look at her this is a beautiful, beautiful bike. This is like a piece of artwork to me. This is like art. If I knew how to ride one though, I would be all over this. I would be all over this thing. Okay, all right. And and like I said, we, we got a forklift. So if anybody needs a forklift, I don't know if it works or not, but uh, it's a forklift. I think about this and I'm like, man, you know how many uses I could have for this thing? Like, no joke. It doesn't look like it's in very good shape, though, guys. In fact, it looks like it's... It looks like it's in pretty bad shape. A couple other bikes sitting over here. But that's it. We're done with this yard. You know what that means it's time for? We gotta go to the sublot. Because we got a camper trailer to go look at next. All right, guys, now we're over here at my favorite place, the Sublot. This is by far my favorite place because you could literally just walk right up to them. This is a 2017 Puma. 
it's a beautiful travel trailer but a lot of you have warned me to stay away from hail damage trailers i've been looking at one and thinking about buying one for quite a bit of time and every time i see the ones that i'm interested in they're always hail damaged and you guys are always warning me not to get into a hail damaged trailer apparently it can turn the roof into swiss cheese and i guess it just causes all kinds of problems for there from there let's climb up in here and take a look this is obviously a slide out God, this smells great. It actually still smells fairly new. Oh, wow. It actually smells really good. Now, I'm looking up at the roof. We have had quite a few thunderstorms lately. I'm trying to get an idea of if, if this thing's got any uh, water protruding through the uh, ceiling. Oh, wow. Well, that's not something you want to see. Oh, you know what it is? Yeah. There's nothing up there, and it literally goes right into the toilet. Urgh. Okay, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty nice. Now, we can't actually get through here. Maybe I can get in the other... Oh, it's got beautiful leather couches. Oh, we gotta get in. We gotta get in. Let's see if we can get in through the other side here. No, I don't think we can. I think there was only... Surely not. Surely that's not the only way in, guys. Let's take a look around. That's going to suck if so. I was really hoping we'd be able to jump in here and take a closer look. Yeah, it's even got hail damage all the way on the back here. Like, this whole thing is just riddled in hail damage. It's a big trailer. It's a big trailer. I really, 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 really like it, guys. So comment below and tell me if you would consider buying a hail damage travel trailer or if you would steer clear of it. You got the dual propane tanks right here. You got the electric lift, isn't that nice, to bring it up in the air for you so you don't have to stand there and try to crank. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm gonna take one more peek inside real quick, just to give you guys one last view. Let me squeeze you in here, and hopefully, see, I can't see, I can't see anything back there. I can see that it looks like there's some leather couches not quite sure what's over here i don't even know what i'm pointing the camera at at this point a little dinette you got all of your controls right here heat and air and all of that stuff water heater water pump awning lights extend slide in slide outs <sighs> i don't know guys i'm a little skeptical but regardless that is going to be the end of this copart walk around all right boys and girls that's going to be it we're going to get out of here thank you guys for joining me today big shout out to copart 2829 southeast 15th street in oklahoma city big shout out to copart corporate office come out here check these cars out for yourself bid buy get you something new guys i'm going to get out of here if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button you can follow me on facebook and instagram auto auction rebuilds drop your comments down below if you enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up if not give it a big thumbs down until next time guys stay safe out there i will catch you all very soon in the next one.